Hi, welcome. Today we're going to create our Java program. So let's check our learning log. Okay, so this is our learning log for Java. So we have your um, laboratory activity. So using NetBeans or Java compiler, create a class name below body. So we have a given problem. So create a class name below body, write your first Java program, and explain its basic component. So we have also provided with expected output. So the expected output during runtime is hello body. So let's open our NetBeans. Okay, so let's go to file. The new project. So we have your new project dialog box. We're going to select Java with Maven, or it is selected by default. So we're going to select Java application. Then click, click Next. So for our project name, we're going to use the class of our prog project. So we are going to type hello Betty. And then we're going to select the location for our project. So I'm going to select desktop, then going to save that in learning log. So inside the learning log, I'm going to create a subfolder for our first project. So I'm going to make it a zero zero my uh, first Java project. Then we're going to click open. All right. Okay. Uh, let's check the project location. So let's change the project location again. So net, we have desktop. Okay, and we have learning lab, my first Java project. So, okay, up folder, my first Java project, click open. Okay, so let's check project location, users, desktop, learning lab, my first Java project. So it is important for us to always check that uh, our project is stored in a proper uh, storage location in our computer so that if we're going to open that again, so we will know where to find our project. Then we're going to delete this package. Okay, then click finish. So we're going to wait until it is loaded in our uh, IDE. And we have now a project named hello body so we're going to open this icon in order to display all the subfolders then select source packages so in this click this icon then we're going to select new then java class so our class name is hello body and just click finish so we're going to wait for it until it is lo loaded in our environment. Okay, so we don't need these comments for our program, so we're going to delete this one to make our uh, editor more neat looking. Okay, so inside the block of a class, we are going to type PSVM. 
So it is a shortcut for public static void main. Then we are going to press tab key to generate the entire code. Next, I'm going to write a comment. This is my first Java project. Next, I'm going to write S-O-U-T. It is a shortcut for system out that print. And, pr uh, and press tab key in my keyboard to generate the entire code. Mm -hmm. So inside the double code, I'm going to pre uh, I'm going to write uh, the word that I want that we wanted to print during runtime. So hello, buddy. Okay, and let's check if our program runs. So I'm going to click save all button. Then. Uh, click run button to compile the program. We're going to select our class Then select main class So we're going to wait until uh, the program is uh, compiled completely So it will, it will take a uh, several seconds until it is uh, done Okay, so while waiting let's explain the different components of our program of our program. So let's start with public class hello body. So uh, this line of code simply means that uh, our this line of code simply indicates that the name of the class in our project is hello body. And in Java, all code should be placed inside a class declaration. So we do this by using this uh, keyword class, and also it uses a public uh, access identifier. So the public access identifier uh, simply indicates that this particular class is accessible to other class, okay, in a different package. Next, we have your public static void main stream. So this one simply indicates that in our class it has a met, uh, it has a method name main. Okay? So every uh, the main method is the starting point of a Java program. So all all projects created in Java start with the main method except for the applet or the Java applet. Okay, so next, we have your, uh, this is my first Java project. So this one is not part of, uh, it is not part of a code, but um, it is a comment. So it is indicated by a double forward slash. So it tells Java that this is a single line comment and all of the rest of the code after this symbol is treated as a comment by the Java program. Next is our system out that print. So system out that print is a method that prints uh, any word enclosed in a double quote in our screen. So during runtime, the system out that print method will print hello body in our computer screen. And next we have also a pair of curly braces. So a pair of curly braces indicates that all of the codes inside these curly braces or this symbol is one single block or it is a block of code. Also, we have your semicolon. So your semicolon is a delimiter for a Java statement. So any code ends with a semicolon is a statement. Okay, so let's check our output so can you see here the output is a low body and it says build success so uh, let's check our pro uh, our learning lab so it we already described or explained the basic components of our program and we al also uh, achieve uh, the expected 
output. Okay. So that's it for the basic programming in Java. See you next time.